Hello friends, a warm greetings and welcome to my YouTube channel. First of all, thank you for taking your valuable time and interest in watching this soil practical based video. In this video, I'll be demonstrating to you the laboratory procedures involved in the determination of another important soil physical properties called bulk density. Bulk density of soil samples can be estimated by different methods or techniques. But in this video, the methods used for estimation of bulk density is called the laboratory method given by Gupta 2005. This method is mainly used for the estimation of bulk density in disturbed soil, okay? So before we proceed further, for your convenience and information, the content of this video revolves around the following. First, we will see what is bulk density and also the formula used for its calculation. Then we will see the laboratory requirements needed for bulk density estimation. Then I'll demonstrate the stepwise procedures involved for the estimation of bulk density following the adopted method and finally its calculation using microsoft excel to begin with by definition the bulk density of soil is the measures of the particles contained in a unit volume of dry soils including the pore spaces so technically, bulk density indicates how tightly the soil particles are packed, or in one word, it indicates soil compactions. So a compact soil has less pore space, therefore the bulk density is high, whereas a loose soil has more pore space, that's why the bulk density is lower. And bulk density is expressed in terms of gram per ml in case of this method adopted. Whereas if you adopt other methods, it can be expressed as gram per centimeter square. Bulk density is calculated by dividing the weight of the soil with volume of water as given in the formula displayed on the screen. W2 minus W1 divided by V, where W2 is the weight of the soil in the container and W1 is the weight of the container and V stands for the volume that fills the container. Next, let's see the items are required for conducting bulk density of soil sample. And the items required are first, you need an air-dried soil samples which have been passed through a 2 mm sieve. You need a container, and I'm using this type of uh, vial. They have a definite dimension, a burette, and a weighing balance. Next, procedure. For demonstration purposes in this video, one soil samples will be used. Step number one, first take the container and mark it in order to avoid confusion and also for the container to be sample or replicate specific. Next, weigh the container and record its weight. Let the recorded weight of the container be as given on the slide. Then fill the container with the air drawed samples, which has been passed through a 2 mm sieve. and then continuously tap the container for about 10 to 20 times. Mm -hmm. 
This process is continued till the container is filled with soil samples. After filling the container again, measure the final weight of the container filled with soil. Add the weight of the container and the soil he has given on the screen. Empty the soil from the container and clean the container. Next, fill the buret with tap water and fit the buret into the buret stand. Then to fill the container with the water from the buret. We use buret because in order to get the exact volume of water that required to fill the container. Let the volume of water required to fill the container be as given on the screen. Once you have completed up to this stage, the last step now is the calculation of bulk density in soil samples using the formula. Calculation of bulk density is very simple, but for the sake of everyone, especially the beginners, I'll show you the hands-on calculation of bulk density using Microsoft Excel. As shown earlier in the slides, these are the weight of the container or the vial for three different replicates. And these are the weight of the container and the soil, which is W2. And these are the, uh, the volume of the water required to fill the container or the vial for all the three different replicates. So based, these are the three readings that we have generated earlier. Now we have obtained all the three different values. That is W1, W2, and V. So if you remember, the formula for bulk density is W2 minus W1 divided by V. So it's very simple calculation, as I said. So W2 minus W, very simple, just put it equal sign. W2 is the weight of the container plus the soil minus the weight of the container. This will give you the weight of the soil, right? For all three different replicates, then just drag it, all right? Then bulk density is weight of the soil, which is W2 minus W1 divided by the volume of water that need or required to fill the container, which is this value. So just press enter key. So this is your bulk density value for replicate one. And similarly, you can drag for the replicates two and three. However, you have to calculate the average value. So first you have to do is click on this cell, go to auto sum, click on average, enter. So 1.11, gram per ml is the bulk density of the soil sample that we analyzed for this demonstration in this video. So similarly, if you have two, four, five, six, 10, 12, 20, whatever number of samples, the same procedures will be followed, okay? And this is how you'll calculate. First, you always have to calculate the bulk density of all the different replicates and then take the average values. And after obtaining the average value, that will represent the bulk density of the particular samples that you analyze. So with this, we have come to an end of this video. And I hope all the students, especially the uh, undergraduates or postgraduate or even the researchers will be benefited while after watching this video. And especially to those students who wants to uh, recapitulate or to relearn, recall back the same practical that they have done in their school or colleges or universities, so with that, we have come to an end. Uh, the reference that I use for this video is given on the slide. So once again, thank you so much for your love and support. God blessed.